Now, growing ornamental plants for gardens is an £800 million pound business, but it's under threat from a pest that's hard to spot and expensive to tackle. These little chaps, vine weevils, they can quickly infest and ruin an entire crop, costing the industry £20 million pounds a year. Well, now, three universities from across the Midlands are working to come up with a way to detect this devastating pest before it becomes a real problem. Here's our science correspondent, David Gregory Kumar. The vine weevil, not great news for gardeners, but for commercial plant growers, they are a real problem. They cause damage and they're pretty hard to spot. The larvae are a soil dwelling, so you know they live in the soil, not very easy to see unless you start digging up plants, which growers don't want to do. But also they're nocturnal, so the adults uh, do a lot of their feeding behaviour on the leaves during the night when a lot of people don't want to be working. Vine weevils are all female, so just one vine weevil can quickly turn into an infestation. No wonder they cause growers damage worth £20 million a year. What they really need is a, a way of more, more effectively monitoring for the presence of vine weevil within their crops using a, a, a refuge trap uh, which they can go to to look for the presence of adult weevils within the trap to alert them to the presence of uh, this pest and action that they might need to take to control the pest. So once weevils turn up in these refuges, these traps, the grower knows they have a problem. They can then get some of this. This is a block of 50 million freeze-dried nematodes, natural predators really of the vine weevil. Add them to water, drench the soil with this, and you should get rid of your problem. But the big question for the team here at Harper Adams University in Newport in Shropshire, how can you attract the vine weevils into your new trap? Well, you need a smell they just can't resist. We have here a, a choice chamber where we're, we're really, we can't ask weevils what they like the smell of, but we can record their behavioural response to different, uh, different odours. So we're seeing which plants they prefer the odour of. They also, uh, rather I guess revoltingly for us, they also like the smell of each other's uh, frass, which is a, a technical term for insect poo, uh, which is really digested plant material, so it actually smells rather similar to the plants that they like to feed on. The team believe they now have a trap that's attractive to vine weevils both physically and also in the way it smells as well. And the end result, an early warning system for growers that means they don't use expensive treatments when they don't need them. David Gregory Kumar, BBC Middens Today, Harper Adams University.